Hi everyone. Welcome back. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I know this is going up on my new channel as well as my old channel. I'll probably put it on my new channel first. So if you're watching this on my old channel, please look in the description below. Um, in the pinned comment will be a link to my new channel, which is basically all my DIYs, cooking, that kind of thing. Um, I wanted to share with you this gorgeous book that I got at Walmart today. Uh, they are only $5. Normally they're $15 or more. And it is one of my most favorite stories, The Night Before Christmas. This story is illustrated by Christian Birmingham and is written by Clement C. Moore. This is a very large book. Um, on the inside cover, I also want to show you that even with the dust jacket, the actual book itself is also printed. Um, on the inside of the dust jacket, it says, Every Christmas Eve brings with it hushed anticipation and wonder. Here is the classic story of this magical night when children around the world await the arrival of the gifts that symbolize all the warmth and love of Christmas. This volume presents Clement C. Moore's classic verse in a special large format specially designed for children with full color illustrations that bring to life the spirit of this joyous season. The Night Before Christmas The Anniversary Edition by Clement C. Moore Illustrated by Christian Birmingham It is a RP Kids Classic from Philadelphia Copyright in 1995 by Running Press An introduction. In 1822, a New York clergyman named Clement Clark Moore spun together Christmas memories for his children. The poem he wrote featured a red suited Santa in a reindeer drawn sleigh. a never empty sack of toys and stockings hung expectantly above the fireplace. He called it a visit from St. Nicholas and it was then published anonymously in a newspaper in Troy, New York. It captured the public's imagination. The poem's opening line, "'Twas the night before Christmas, soon replaced the original title. One reason Moore's poem has endured is that it is a joy to read out loud. Beginning in hushed suspense, the poem builds to a dramatic crescendo as the rollicking verses usher in the mysterious midnight visitor, a tale of anticipation and wonder the night before Christmas has become a holiday tradition in itself for many families. So as you open these pages, whether for the first Christmas or to recall those past, celebrate and share the timeless joys of this enchanting holiday. was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring not even a mouse
The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, I tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, with sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head, it was turning around down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and his the beard on his chin was as white as a snow.
the stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. In the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. I love the story. Back when I was in first grade, I had a teacher named Mrs. Nichols. Each one of us kids got a book, and it wasn't this big, of uh, The Night Before Christmas. And I cherished that book for a long time, even though I was a little. I loved that book. So I hope everyone enjoyed the reading of this story. I hope you all uh, hit the thumbs up, like, comment, share, and um, play this for your little ones. I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.